All right. This is a CRV diff ramp style. As you can tell from right here. So today we're gonna talk about our new clutch locking block and we're gonna show you the difference between the CRV uh, diff. One's a non-ramp and one's a ramp style. And I'll show you the difference between it. But we wanted to show you this new and we're gonna install this into the ramp style. But this will work on the ramp and non-ramp style. These are a new one. The difference you can tell is right here, this machine. Our old one didn't have this. On the old style, you can't use it on the ramp. You can use it on the non-ramp. But on this one, you can use it on the ramp. We made the changes to it, okay? We're gonna talk about the two different diff styles. This is, they call this the non-ramp, and this is the ramping style right here. The way that you can tell just by looking at it, on the non-ramp, this right here, it's a lot longer, right here. It's about two and a half inch long. This is about, it's a little bit shorter here. And also, you see the bolt right here, it's smaller. This one's longer. That's how you can tell the difference between a non-ramp and a ramp. The ramp has longer here, um, the bolts here, this one's shorter. That's how you can tell, okay? So, on today's video, we're gonna go ahead and install this clutch locking block, our new one, with the ramp style. Yeah. Okay. So, the first thing that you're gonna do is make sure it's drained, of course, and all that. Um, you see these bolts right here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, these are uh, eight millimeter. You don't have to remove this. I'm gonna show you. If you remove this, it just makes it harder. So what we usually do is we remove this. Get over. Sometimes if this thing gets hard to remove, Make sure you heat it up first because you don't want to break the bolt into this. Get that. Ah, we still got some little fluid in there. Okay, so all you gotta do is open this thing up. There it goes. See, this is the ramp, this is what we call the ramp. Okay, so all this thing right here, we're gonna remove. We're gonna remove all this. That's gonna be gone. We won't use none of this stuff here anymore. Um, and then in here, we're gonna have to remove this little clip right here. This clip right here, just, we're gonna have to pop it. There should be two clips in here. Take the first one out, okay? And then all this in here comes out. This is right there, all this. Now you can just take all this out. All this right here, you're not gonna use no more. And now, once you remove all that, there's a second clip. Right in here, if you look inside here, the second clip is right here. Do the same thing. Take this thing out, this one's spring-loaded. There you go, like that, all this right here. I'm not gonna use none of this stuff. We're gonna get rid of all that. Go flip it over. This right here, this is what the block replaces, all this. On the clutch locking plate, it would, you keep this, but since it's a block, this is what it replaces. Right here is where it breaks, right in here. So that's why we, when we made it, we made it all into one piece. It's actually, this is what it is right there. See, it's real thin right there, and that's what breaks. So that's why we came up with this. So take all of it out. This, the last one's always the hardest. So sometimes what you're gonna have to do is clean it up with brake cleaner in here, and then it'll pop out, but usually it gets, Clean it out with brake cleaner. 
last one here is always hard. There you go. See? Oh, that's one of them. But this one's gonna go back in, okay? The last one. All these we won't use anymore. Okay. You do that all that work cleaner. Okay. So now this is the only one that's gonna go back in. Right in the middle, right there. This one here. All right. So now, once you got that, this is where the clutch lock can lock. It goes in this way this down like so there it is so as you can see the ramp style this is much longer than the regular non-ramp you see the difference and that's the reason why that's that has to be notch so this is the ramp style non-ramp so um this is gonna go back in, and you can see when you put it back in, it's flits, it's flush with that right there. See, it's flush. That's how it should be. Okay, so once that's done, what I usually do, what we usually like to, like to do, is just tack one, two, three tacks. So this thing doesn't move when we put it back in. If not, it's gonna move, so. But now, okay, so we're gonna get this thing ready to get attacked, okay? Uh, let's go do it now. You see the shaft where it breaks? Most, most of the time it breaks right here, right on where this cut is right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean it up and we're gonna have to just roll this thing here. Light heat, you know. just got done welding that so now put this magnet bag on here so now what we have to do is put this pump back in we put it back because it's for the support put it back in here like so okay and then these three will go back on So now you have that, make sure that this is still here, this bearing right here. Because that's what that's gonna ride on. So now I'm gonna clean this thing up on both surface on this one also right here. I'm gonna clean this surface up. You see here we got all of it, all the RTV. All you gotta do is put it back. See, the reason why you weld this, because now you could just go in and put it. If you didn't have this thing welded, what's gonna happen when you, it's gonna be hard to put in, you know? So, put it in, there, do that. And then now, just put all the bolts back and tighten it down. Have it. These right here is all trash. 